Hello, my YouTube family. You want to talk about a Friday like no other. Even one of my coworkers felt sorry for me. Shh. She covered for me for lunch today. She covered. She took over at 1220 and she said, as I was walking out, I said, oh, what time is it? And she said, one o'clock, meaning that she's going to give me the hour to two o'clock. But it was 1220. I said, oh, for real? And she said, mm-hmm. I said, oh, bless your heart. She felt sorry for me. It was one of those days, people. It was one of those days. And by the way, she was suffering from a stress headache. And I offered her some, some Excedrin, but she said she took some Advil. It was one of those days. Somebody in one of the branches decided to send a mass email to every member of the agency that's, you know, the aides and the patients, the patients' families, anybody who's got us on their email or, you know, their work phone or whatever, sent a mass email. Oh, but wait. It was in error. So my phone started blowing up. I said, what the hell is going on? I saw one line. As I'm on that line, I saw two, three lines. I said, what is going on? So somebody asked for somebody in the HR department, and my phone was up. I said, what is going on? She said, oh, somebody sent an email by an error. So not only do I have to answer all of these calls, I was just transferring. I'm not going to, mm -mm, no. I'm not going to take the time to say, oh, it's an error. Oh, it's an error. No, no, no. I'm transferring. Um, Somebody in the HR said, mm -hmm, HR, the HR was getting slammed. I was getting slammed. And in turn, you guys were getting slammed. Y'all sent the shit in error and we have to pay for it. When I tell you I came back to my seat at 2 o'clock and I looked at the clock and I said, oh, it's 2 o'clock. And, you know, we changing of the guards and she went back to her, her seat and I sat, sat there. The last time I looked at the clock, the next time I looked at the clock, mind you, I came back at 2 o'clock. The next time I looked at the clock, it was 4.53, almost time to go home. I kid you not. I was beyond busy. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Beyond? People were coming at me. Phones ringing off the hook. Oh, Nancy, can you? Oh, by the way, can I? There is this one aid I can't stand her ass when she comes to pick up from from materials first of all she's one of them whiny bitches I am and she's an island folk so she's whiny and she has an accent every time I see her my stomach just in knots because there's no pleasing her oh why do we have these gloves Bitch, I don't know. Do you want the gloves or do you not want the gloves? Is really what I would love to say. All I say is, I'm sorry, that's what we've got right now. Mumble, mumble, mumble. I need masks. Now, mind you, my phone is blown up. What else do you need? And then finally, I couldn't take her humming and on. I answered the phone. While I'm on the phone, that's what she's telling me. I, I said I need gloves. And I said, I'm on the phone. Bitch, not today, ma'am, not today, no, ma'am, not today.
Not today. Every single time she comes in. And I don't give her one set of gloves. I have to give her two boxes. Because I did the one box before. I have two I have two patients. You don't understand. Just to shut her up here. Take the two. Take 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 them. Take the two masks. Take the two gloves. What else do you want? I need soap. We don't have soap. Here, take two sanitizers. What else do you want? Just to get her ass out. I will give her the moon just to get her ass out. Just so I don't have to hear her sorry ass voice. Oh my God, it was a day. It was a day. It was a day worth a drink. I didn't have anything to drink. I didn't bring anything home. I, I was too beyond to bring anything home. And what I had for lunch, I drank everything for lunch. Because that's how I, I needed everything that I, that I was drinking. I needed it all. Let us do lips of the day. It is Friday. Friday. And of course, I'm going to do this and it's going to be Monday again. But let me not even discuss that. And plus, we still don't have, well, as of right now, at least I don't know. Do we have a president yet? I know that Biden was in the lead, but I'm not saying nothing because you just never know. You just never know. So until it is absolutely 101% fact upon fact upon every single vote being counted, I am not going to say a word. I'm not going to say a word, but it's looking it's looking like I may have a smile at the end of the day, but you just never know because we thought we had a smile at the end of the day when Hillary was Hillary was against this fool and what did he do? Anyway, lipstick of the day is a Maybelline. This was one of those Uh, remember the Maybelline shade that they made, the, the Maybelline lipstick that they made that every um, nationality would look good in? That's this one. It's red for me. My shade was red for me. That was the shade that I bought. And this is red for me. Great. Yes. And it is a matte, of course, and that is red for me. That is red for me. I didn't find anything special about this lipstick because I have this shade. So I didn't see what the big deal was. But I love it nevertheless. It's, not, it's a nice creamy matte. It's a subtle blue toned, blue undertone matte. So, there you have it. Great. There you go, people. When I tell you I am going to sit my fat ass on the sofa, I don't know if I'll be watching any more any of my Chicago PDs. It'll be running. Will my eyes be open to watch it, though? That's, that is the question. I have to go to the bank tomorrow to withdraw the money for Tom's vet visit for next Saturday because next Saturday I won't have time to go to the bank. So I will have to go this Saturday, put the money aside for next Saturday. 
It is what it is, people. It is what it is. This is a damn good red, okay? I think I like it more now than I when the first time I did this lip look. I don't know why, but maybe it's because it goes so well with my sweater. Perfect match, wouldn't you say? Okay. So, oh, oh, sit down. Because wait, wait until I tell you what mood I'm in now. You know, I go into my lip gloss mood. I go into my lipstick mood. I go into my foundation mood, blush mood. What mood am I in now? And I thought I really would never go really into this mood. Why? Why am I looking at eyeshadows? Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? I'll tell you why I'm doing that. Because there's a palette. I forget whose palette it is. It's a naughty nudes palette. But I found a dupe for it on Amazon, like a, a, an exact dupe for both the naughty side and the nude side. And and, and I, I I have it in my cart. Why why do I have it in my cart though? Why why? These shades are the business. These shades right here, I saw that palette, and I was like, I'm not an eyeshadow person, but damn, those shades look nice. Who's the, who's the, who's the, who's the, 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 the brand person for Naughty and Nice? Naughty and, is it Naughty and Nude? Naughty Nudes. Naughty and Nudes or Naughty Nudes? Something like that. All I know is the, the, the Naughty, everybody's showing the Naughty side. So, is it, is it the bomb? Is it Benefit? Is it, who, 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 who is it? I forget. All I know is those shades, I don't, the, the eyeshadows that I have, I don't have those shades. They're nice and bold and 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 bright and and but Nancy, you only wear one shade at a time. Where you going though? Where where you going with this palette? Where you going with this palette? Although I must admit that fall into winter, fall winter, the fall winter season, I do wear my my eyeshadows. I have one on now. Um, which eyeshadow is it? It's from the Chroma Beauty Courtney Cardazzle line. This is her palette. And this is her eyeshadow palette right here. And this is the blush. This is this is the blush, the so so-called highlighter, and this is the so-called bronzer. Yeah, okay, whatever. I am wearing, I'm actually wearing this this shade right here. It looks more, it's, a, it's like a shimmery shade. It's really nice. It's darker in person than what you see because the lights are really killing it. But it's like a dark bronze. Really nice. I happen to love shimmer shades. That's my thing. I'm a shimmer shade person. I am a shimmer and matte because this matte, shade right here. I love to wear this one also. This one and this one. This one is what I'm wearing right now. And the other shades are not bad. I don't do the whole white. I don't do like a, a white, no. And even this one is kind of, it's a peachy, peachy, a high peach. Mm -mm. There's a gold. There's like a pewter. The bronze is the one I'm wearing. And then there's like a dark charcoal, a shimmery charcoal one right there. So let me see if I could. I don't. Know, it's rather weak. The four. I mean, it's not all that people. You know what I mean? 
This is the, and you can't even see it. It's right there. That's the shade I'm, I've got on my eyes. You can't really see it. It looks darker in the pan, and even on my finger. See, that's that's what it looks like. That's the that's the shade on my finger. That's on my eyes. It's not, you know, it's not a wowsy, wowsy palette. But these are like the shimmer shades that I have. I don't have like a palette full of shimmer shades. I have like Courtney Cardazzle and I think Chloe. I think I have the Chloe one also. I think who has a couple couple of shimmer shades. Foiled eyeshadows and shimmer eyeshadows. Those are my those are my jam. I like that shiny, almost greasy, wet look as an eyeshadow. I really love that look. I love that look. Mattes and that. I don't do glitter. There's a difference between a glitter, because the glitter tends to fall. It's, it, it gives a lot of fallout. Shimmer gives a nice duochrome looks. Oh, I love duochrome eyeshadows. Yes, people, you are hearing me talk about eyeshadows. That is what I'm into right now. All because I saw the, that, that Naughty palette by I don't know what brand. Somebody will somebody hook me up and tell me. I saw that palette and I was like, and then I instantly went on Amazon and said, okay, this is good. I've got to find a dupe for this one. Seriously. And surprisingly enough, I found one. And I think both of them together, the dupe is $18. I think one side of whatever brand this is, because I know it's a, kind of like a high brand, is 18 So I think the whole thing is 64 or something like that, or 34 or whatever. I, mm -mm, no. People, why am I looking at eyeshadows, though? What has gotten into me? I have got a whole little sliding drawer of eyeshadows. And I never th thought I'd, I'd be using those. And I do wear my eyeshadows every day. But this here palette. This palette right here. There's a palette on Amazon. I saw it once. No, I saw it a couple of times. And I said, oh, I don't want that. Now I do. Because it's like a foil mixture. It's it's hard to explain. I would have to buy it and show it to you. I can't even explain it. I may look it up and then put the link of it in the bottom of the description. And then you guys can check it out for yourself. But I got to find it first. I got to find it again. So keep checking back on this video to see if I actually posted the link because I'm gonna I really am gonna try to find it for you. There's a picture of a woman's hand and she's got like all the shades on the hand, like mixed together. The formula, I think, is a foil-ish kind of a formula. Very shiny. Neon S, but not glow in the dark. It's the, I saw a palette that was glow-in-the-dark. I said, no, no, no. I'm not buying a glow-in-the-dark palette. I go to work in the daytime, and I don't work at night. So there's no point. But I'm going to try to find that palette, and I'm going to have to buy it. No if ands, or buts about it. There's a palette. I think they have two palettes, or maybe it's this palette that I'm talking about where there are four jewel-toned shades. It's like a royal blue, an emerald green. I think the other one is a purple and a deep garnet. Be still my heart. Eyeshadows. You heard me right, people. Follow my lips. Eyeshadows. That's what I'm talking about now. I'm not talking about a blush. I'm not talking about lipstick, lip gloss. So now I'm into eyeshadows. What is wrong with me? What is going on with me? Why? I think I know why because that's all you can see. Now, you can't see lipsticks until I get home. Because we've got 
mask. So what is, that's all you see is the eyes. So it would make sense that I'm into eyeshadows now. People. Okay. So I'm into eyeshadows. It's because of the jewel tone that I saw on Amazon, the one I'm talking about, and the Naughty palette. Because it's two different things I'm talking about. There's the Naughty dupe, the Naughty Nudes dupe that I'm that I really think I'm going to get because I really like those shades. And those foils, the four shades that I was talking about. I may get those. I don't understand. I don't even understand my own damn self. Eyeshadows, people. So I'm an eyeshadow person now? Because of A, what's going on, and B, for the, because I saw the naughty, pa the naughty palette. I'm not even going to say if I get them. When I get them, I'll show them to you. I really thought I would be satisfied with my Rimmel palettes. Let me show you my Rimmel palettes. These are my two Rimmel palettes. I love these palettes. I use them all the time. There's this one, which is the Crimson palette, which I use all the time. Love these crim this Crimson shade. Crimson edition. And then there's the Spice edition. But I've got others. I, I'm not going to go into all of them right now. Plus, you know who you are. Blessed me with a Natasha Denona palette. Of course, I don't know if you can tell, but I, I, I this one's got a bit of a divot. This shade right here. Love this shade. Love it. So yeah, I, I'm 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 full blown, full blown eyeshadow person now. Full blown, not dipping my toe in. Oh no no no, this is past dipping the toe. Nancy, you got you got you got shadows with an S at the end. You don't have like a palette. I just showed you two. I just showed you three. I've got Wet and Wild palette, Wet and Wild eye eyeshadow palettes. Thank you, Tina Marie. I am still using those. Um. I've become an eyeshadow person now. Okay, I've got to go. I've got to go for a couple of reasons because A, I've got to go and I need to take, the, the sisters need to be free, if you understand what I'm talking about. And I've got to go look for those eyeshadows because I think I'm going to place the order uh, tonight. Alright, well, um, this is Lips of the Day, which I absolutely adore. I'm looking at it more and more, and I'm like, I really like this. This is a shade I really, really like. And yeah, I'm wearing a very high ponytail. In case you haven't figured it out, it's just a, a very high. It's like literally on top of my head. And it's it was a little neater before. That's it, right there. It was neater this morning. It's 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 six oh eight now. I'm home, so I'm going to release the kraken from the, the the ponytail. And yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, I need to go now because of the whole eyeshadow situation. And um, <laughs> I'm an eyeshadow person now. Okay, and that is it. That is all. This is Lips of the Day. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the whole Naughty palette. If any of you already bought it, let me know if you already bought it. How do you like it? Because the shades that I have seen, OMG, they're rich and beautiful. Okay, that's all I have to say. Let me know what you think about them. 
Let me know if you're into foil shadows, that, that shimmery, almost wet, shadowy look. I love, I love that look. I don't know why. I'm, I'm very attracted to that look. Let me know if you're a matte person, a glitter person, a shimmer person. Let me know. Let us discuss eyeshadows. That's what we're going to discuss. We're going to discuss eyeshadows. So let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, have an awesome, awesome weekend. Hopefully the weekend will linger just a little bit longer. Okay, just a little bit longer than normal. I know it's just still two days, but you know what I mean? Let's... Let's sat can Saturday linger just a little bit? Because once Saturday is over, pretty much that's it. Then it's Sunday, then don't laundry for me. And once I do the laundry, I know it's, it's Monday is just a, a hop, skip, and a jump away. It's Saturday, Friday night into Saturday. I was saying goodbye, wasn't I? I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Again, let's discuss the whole eyeshadow situation. And I will talk to you on Monday. Everybody have a safe and wonderful weekend. And uh, let's hope that we have a, a new president by Monday. A new president by Monday. Okay? I love you. Mwah! Bye now.